this afternoon, Soul Family. <laughs> um, as you can probably see, I don't know if you've watched my Facebook. I've been changing my posts by the second. I have a um, I had a vintage hummingbird trailer that I was trying to get because I need to move forward on this whole thing. Spirit's been telling us, have they not? Get to work, light worker. You've got all the tools you need in front of you. Just get going. And what I need is a reliable, safe, clean, little traveling trailer that I can tow, tow behind my little car. And uh, I just kept putting it off because I thought, well, I've got to get the money, got to get the money. And then I thought, no, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna throw it out there because I work for Spirit, Spirit works for me, right? I do all of this work for you, for Spirit, for free, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna ask for my soul family to support me. How interesting, hello, little hummingbird. And that's what the hummingbird says, that you will accomplish what might seem impossible to yourself and others. So, I lost the hummingbird that I saw this morning, I, I mean yesterday, and you got to act on it really quickly, and I just, I didn't get it quickly enough, and it was gone. But this is what I was originally looking at, which was the little casita, because it's, it's very small, it only takes up the size of a, of a car, so you can literally pull it into any, any parking lot, and it fits just in the space of a car. It's quite small, it's all self-contained, so I'm putting out uh, the request for my family to support me with donations as a GoFundMe. And this one that I found at this point, well, there's $2,500. There's one, I'm trying to get them as, trying to get one as inexpensively as I can, but um, you know there's registration and all that, but whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm putting it out there because hell, I do this for you guys for free every single day of my life. So I thought, you know what? I'll ask for support from the universe. And if it's meant to happen, it'll happen, right? So I'm gonna do today's reading. Um, then I'm going to, I'm going to head up. I think I might be heading to Idlewild to do our weekly reading. I'm not sure. I might do it here. It's very beautiful. The weather, as you saw. So I think that the, um, cards that we're going to be working with today. Wow. So I closed my, 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 my eyes and I heard divine guidance. That's my very first deck. Divine guidance. Actually, that's, that's daily guidance daily guidance from your angels. I heard divine guidance. So I'm listening to my divine guidance. Yes, I am. So show me what decks do you want us to work with today? Oh my God. Seriously? Oracle of shadows and light. And I can do it. And the magical unicorns. How interesting. Divine Guidance, Oracle of Shadows and Light. That's so funny. It's always the Oracle of Shadows and Light because it's my fave. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go outside with you guys because it's just too damn beautiful out there. And we'll do our reading out here. I've been, I've been a um, veterinarian for the last few days with my cat who won't eat. And I know why. She can't she was abandoned by her original owners. That's when I found her. She was starving in the street, and we brought her in, and she was, she had a hard time, but she was, she was just bones, but she was spoiled and pampered, and I took care of her, and then when I went away a year ago, she stopped eating, and when I came back, remember, she, it was awful. She almost died. thousand dollars later, right? And, uh, this time, I, got, I kept chatting with my landlord, and he said, Oh, no, she's eating. I'm eating. She's giving me. She wasn't. She was barely eating. I mean, I, I'm told a different story than, than in actuality is going on. You know, I, was, I said, You told me she was eating. Well, most of the time she ate, and I said, She's bones. She's literally skin and bones. So it happens when I leave. She can't be left. So I can't go away on these spiritual quests and retreats and leave her. So, it, it, you know, it's, it's fine for me to pack myself into a car right but it's ridiculous really at my age to be sleeping and stuffing myself into a car so a little casita I can bring her with me she's safe and I can do the work that I need to do and it's what I'm asking for so I can't leave these cats like that they're just they're they're like my children right and they she's traumatized when I leave her so I can't do it 
So that's another reason. I just, it's like, it's not like I, I can stop going on my quest. It's not like I can stop my work. I'm supposed to be moving forward and doing this work and, you know, going to, uh, what I really am supposed to do is be going to locations and doing retreats with people. And, and I can't do that if I have to worry about these animals. So they have to be able to go with me. So I can do it. <laughs> Spirit's been telling us that. Get to work, light worker. Stop procrastinating. You'll have all the tools you need. All right. Sometimes we got to take a leap of faith. And see, the thing is, we think, okay, well, I, I can't do it. And I just talked about this yesterday. I'm just laughing at myself because, well, I'll, I'll do it as soon as I get the money. And it's like, no, you know what? We bring things to you. You set your intention out there. We bring an opportunity to you. Then you need to take a leap of faith. So, well, you know, I've got barely enough money in there to, to cover that if I can, if I can, my landlord... I paid my rent, right? So that's a leap of faith, man. That would be draining my account to get it. But I, I keep being told, take the leap of faith. Stop procrastinating. Keep moving forward on your spiritual path. We will support you. So I have to take my own advice too, right? So sometimes it doesn't come in the way we think. Maybe it doesn't mean that I need to get all that cash together. It means that I need to ask my spiritual family to support me as I support you, right? So that's what we're doing. I got to listen to my own advice too. So today, what are we going to choose from as far as our, um, the choices for you guys? Because it's got to be your highest, higher self that's speaking to you. I say the, the turquoise dragonfly. Right? Dragonfly says, hold on to your dreams. You deserve to see your dreams fulfilled. So there's a turquoise one, which is my soul color. You can choose the pink one, which is the color of love. And... You can choose the bear. This is what I got when uh, the honey bear, get busy and get after the honey, says the bear. That was a, actually peeled off of a tree by a honey bear up in the giant sequoias on my quest up there. So that'll be one. Endless summer. That'll be four. So one, two, three, four. Okay. And here we go. All right, we start with the Oracle of Shadows and Light. My puppy pants. <clears throat> Correct for neutrality on all levels. And you know what's hard for me to ask? I gotta tell you the truth. It's really hard for me to ask for support for anything. I don't like it. I wanna be able to do it myself. But it's obvious that I can't do it myself right now. And I was saying to my landlord this morning, it frustrates me that, that I would have to ask for support for something like that. And yet I have to remove my ego pride because this isn't for me. This isn't like, oh, she's just asking for somebody to get her a trailer so she can go on vacation. It's not what it's about. This is about my work. This is about that this is all I do is my work. And, and I, have to, I, I argued with myself this morning. I said, is it a no? Because it's humiliating to ask for help. But it's like, you know what? I gotta stop that. I gotta stop that. We all need help at times. God, it's just, it's, it's a tough one for me though. But you know, I gotta swallow my pride and do what spirit tells me to do. Maybe that was just my test. You know, will you humiliate yourself? Will you, will you ask for help? Maybe that is, maybe that was my test. No oh, easy for you to say, Sherry, that we should ask for help, but I'm, I'm a grown man and I should be taking care of my own family and I should be doing this and I don't need to ask for help and I shouldn't have to. And yeah, well, you know what? I'm a very educated, very connected spiritual teacher and I clearly have to ask for help because I give so much of my time that it's financially not conducive for me to be able to do it on my own. I need the help of the universe and my spiritual family. So damn, bite the bullet, Sherry. So maybe that's, maybe it is. Maybe that's my test, right? Will you do it? Will you literally put that post out there? It was hard. I took it down. I put it back up. I took it down. Oh, my God. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, my God. Snow angel. Oh, my God. This is funny. Okay. The signs are already with you. You already know the question that you have. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. The number four. There are angels all around you. You are completely guided, protected, and loved. There is no reason for fear. Move forward on your spiritual path, light worker. You have all the tools in front of you. Oh, wow. 
Spirit can lead a horse to water, but they can't make us drink, right? So this is basically <laughs> a message to all of us whose spirit drops signs, like all of those feathers that they drop for me, right? We're here. We're working with you. I know you are. Right? In this one, she's standing there in the snow. Her wings are freaking soaking wet. She's got her hand on her hip. She's a little bit perturbed, and she's like, okay, check it out. I am freaking here. I am your best friend. I will never leave you. I've told you this. I've proven myself. Have I not shown up over and over and over? Can you see my imprint on the on the snow there? These frozen emotions that you throw down at me that I have to face because you don't want to believe that I'm truthfully, honestly here. I stand here in love. I'm filled with passionate energy. I surround you. I will never leave you. Should I stand here a little while and flap my wings around so that you can see me? I'm here. And again and again you ask, where are my angels? Where's my angel? Where's my best friend? Where's my support? Right freaking here. Look at my wings. They're soaked. Do you want me to lay down again? It's not that you can't see the signs in front of you, that you're refusing to hear them. You're refusing to see what's standing in front of you. It's time to see what you've been shown and take action immediately without delay. How funny. God, stop procrastinating. This is what we keep getting. You have everything you need in front of you to move forward. You know what your heart is saying. You know what, you, what spirit has been saying. Move on it. Act. <laughs> God, take action immediately is the message. You're protected. You're cared for. Do that for yourself. You can. So this is what they're saying. I mean, I was scared. I thought, dang, that would drain my account, right? Drain my bank account. Am I going to recover that? Well, you know, when, 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 I mean, we rescued a cat. It cost us $3,000 to rescue that cat prince. And my friends and family came through, and I collected about $1,000 towards that cat. Well, this is for my spiritual work, for helping me, for helping you, for helping so many others. Of course, spirit's going to help that, right? And for you in your life, what is it that is right in front of you that you're not seeing? Are you refusing to believe that you have the support of spirit with you? That you have the support of loved ones that are there? Are they dancing on their head to try and prove themselves to you and still you won't embrace it and still you won't accept that it's there, truthfully there, even though you know what your heart is asking for you to do? You can do this. Open up your senses. I'm going to go to the I can do it cards and see what they have to say. Correct for neutrality on all levels. This is for the blue dragonfly. The boy dragonfly. <laughs> so this is for us. This is for us uh, ones who think we can do it ourselves and we have to have everything perfect and we wonder why, where everything is at. Okay, I'm just waiting for this to happen. Okay, well, it's already happened. It's right here. Remember I said yesterday, sometimes the opportunities we think that has to come in a certain package and needs to look a certain way. And Spirit says, no, it's right here. Go. No, you don't have to have it all arranged and organized. It doesn't have to have all, you don't have to have all the money lined up. You don't have to have it all figured out. Just go in the direction of your dreams. That's why I was, I was kind of excited about the Hummingbird, the vintage trailer, because I thought, you know, I've got a friend that can help me. You already told me. He's like, I can help you. Anything that needs to be repaired or fixed, we can do it. But the Casita, it's in better, it's, in, it's new. It's 2000 or 1999. Like, it's not going to be, it's fiberglass, right? It's not aluminum rust. So Spirit's like, no, on that one. That one went fast. But the Casita hasn't gone, and it's less expensive. So, you know, there's my messages. What is your message? What are you refusing to move forward on? Because you don't want to believe that either what someone is telling you, I'm here for you, I'm your best friend, I won't leave you, I never have, I've always supported you. Is it your family? Is it Spirit? Oh my God, look at the message. I get the help I need when I need it from various sources. My support system is strong and loving. I cannot change another person. I let others be who they are and I simply love who I am. So maybe other people don't agree with what your choices are, right? You can't change them. Let them be there, what they're doing. Let them do what they're doing. Love who you are and do your own thing. This is a little starfish. She's running. Let's go. Let's go. I'm the star. I get the help I need when I need it from various sources. See, not necessarily from the source that you think. It may come from some, some source that you don't understand. You, you never, never would have thought. 
And my support system is strong and loving. Remember what the universe said? We're going to show you. We can open windows where once there were only walls. Maybe in the heart of someone who's refusing to believe that you're there for them. They're so frozen in emotion that they can't freaking get past it. But spirit can melt that. The signs are with us. Wow. Okay, next message. We're going to go to the pink hummingbird. There's the ladies. The love, right? Let's go to the ladies. Oracle of Shadows and Light. We want to talk again? Yeah? All right, then. Let's do it. I love this weather, you guys. This is perfect. It's windy. It's sunny. So it's got a warm sun with cool breeze. And it's fresh. Oh, this is beautiful weather. This is like winds of change for sure. There are so many animals that I'm seeing go by in the clouds right now, and I don't have time to sit here and look at them all with you guys. But I gotta get dressed. I'm still in my Japanese kimono. Remember Japanese? Whenever you see signs of Japanese, you know your kitsune is there, your best friend. That one goes out to the one I love who doesn't believe that I'm here. All right, correct for neutrality on all levels for, for the ones who chose the pink dragonfly. Your message is Storm Angel. A collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energies. Well, we got this on our weekly reading last week, and here we have it again. So here we got people. Look at this tiger roaring. This is when the, this is when, and I just spoke to somebody else about this. Why is this happening? It's because energies are colliding. It's when oil and water don't want to mix. It's when cold and hot come together and it's a kaboom. <laughs> it's my Pisces and my Aries clashing, right? Boom. It doesn't necessarily have to mean a bad thing. It just means it's, there's energy that's, that's coming together to, and it's causing an explosion, an energetic explosion. It's a shift. Now there can be. Argue, arguments. There can be fights. There can be disagreements going on around you, around the outside of your, or, or even in, inside your family or within your, your, your business, whatever it is that's going on. But this is, this is a time that's going to not be unru outrun. <laughs> you won't outrun this. It's here. It's all around you. And look, you're calm in the center of it. You're calm. A true master finds peace in the, in the midst of chaos, right? Three and five is the number eight. You are infinitely provided for, abundantly provided for in every way that you need. Everything you need will be provided for you. Again, spirit stresses. So this is when major differences come up, right? Incompatible belief systems. You have a different way of looking at this than I do. I do it this way. You do it that way. I don't agree with you doing that. Why would you put an ad like that out on, on, on Facebook and ask for help? That's like begging how could you lower yourself? Don't tell, you know what? I heard that. I heard that in my head loud. I'm not lowering myself. I know my worth. I know I deserve it. I give enough. I work 24 seven. I give freely and the, and the universe freely can give back. So maybe the way you're looking at it needs to be adjusted. I thought about that too. It's humiliating. It's like you're begging. It's like you're asking for a handout. No, I'm not. I'm asking for a trade. It's a fair exchange. Oh, wow. And there he is. There he is. Oh, he's coming really close today. <laughs> you guys saw him. I know you did. My Osprey. And what the Osprey says is important information is pending. Stay on the vigilant. No kidding. Important information is pending, right? And sometimes we think we know what it's about. Oh, it's about this, it's about that. All we know is right now, important information is pending. So stay alert. The, the, and what does the Osprey say? You will dive down, eat, down deep under your emotional waters and you will emerge safe and sound. But there's an opportunity in front of you and you gotta jump on it. Because if you don't, you're, it, you're gonna lose it. I did that this morning. I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited Tried to get a hold of my friend to go with me to see that little hummingbird trailer and finally got a hold of the guy. Sorry, just sold it. An opportunity is brought in front of you. Don't think it's always going to stay because it doesn't. They go just like that. If you got something priceless in front of you and someone's given that away, it's gone. Right? Don't think that you always have time for something because you don't. Spirit will put an opportunity in front of you. When the osprey shows up and says, look, there's an opportunity in front of you. You need to move now. Time to act is now. That is what the Osprey says. So right now, there's a collision of belief systems and people aren't agreeing with what you're believing. 
and what you're agreeing with, right? This is the highs and lows when these energies collide. And what happens is it pushes you, it pushes you. When that happens, when somebody comes up against you and pushes you or something comes up against you and pushes you, it pushes you out of your comfort zone. It pushes you to act, which is what spirit wants you to do. And spirit's saying that, that, that the results of this pressure that you're under right now are gonna be worth it. So yes, there's tension, but spirit says don't compromise who you are and don't try to be the good guy or the nice guy and be compassionate and loving and think that, you know, oh, well, you know, I'll, 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 I'll toe the line. No, this is not what's supposed to be happening at this time. There could be even angry situations and fights that explode right now. These are energies that have been stuffed for far too long and they're exploding. They need to come out. This is when you will learn the truth about things. This is when, when, when people get like that or when a situation gets to that point when there's pressure like that and explodes, you'll hear the truth of what's going on. You will under, uncover a situation. It can't be, it can't be hidden. That's what, the, that's what the spirit storm angel is saying. At this time, any lies or manipulation or deception, any cheating, anything like that, it's gonna be revealed. Nothing, this is the second time in a row. We got this last Sunday for our weekly reading and we're getting it again. So this angel is speaking truthfully and so she's asking you to speak truthfully, act in your integrity because everything's about to become extremely transparent in your life. Everything's gonna be revealed. Woo! Now's the time to act. Correct for neutrality on all levels. What's your I can do it message? I am learning to be more creative every day. I direct my creative talents towards music, art, dance, writing, anything that gives me pleasure. We correct what it is that we, we direct it. We pull our energy, we pull this energy and we direct it where it wants to go. Where's my intention? Where's my focus? What is important for me? What is it spirit that is guiding me to do? What creative ways can you express yourself? What creative ways can you make your desires come to fruition in a way that's beneficial to yourself and others? I direct my creative talents towards music, art, dancing, writing, anything that gives me pleasure. I'm thinking about my little casita. I could travel anywhere with that. I don't have to rely on other people. You know, just to get it going and then and then we're home free. Mobile. Interesting. Okay. So for those who chose the, what do we have? We did the blue hummingbird, the pink hummingbird. What was the other items? I know we chose this, the endless summer, but what was the one that we chose before the endless summer? Oh, come on. I woke up in the middle of the night last night to, uh, and, I, and I got that at Casita ad, that little hummingbird thing, and I wrote down my post. So I was like up in the middle of the night because <laughs> an idea came to me. Creative idea. Come on, Sherry, what was it? Stand up and look and see. Ah. What was it? Endless summer. Blue hummingbird. Pink hummingbird. Show me. The bear. The honey bear. Okay. So for those who chose the honey bear, get busy and get after the honey, right? For those who chose the honey bear. Oh, I'll have to I'll have to timestamp this. Um, this is this is going to be we were at 23 minutes and 53 seconds right now, so I'll I'll timestamp it when I go back. I forgot about that. So for those who chose the honey bear at 24 minutes. Time for change, to learn something new. This is interesting. This is all about technology, using technology. And remember I told you about shutting down certain websites and revamping different websites, doing things in a different way, using the internet for certain things, using the gadgets that you have for certain things, maybe be learning how to, ah, interesting. All the different gadgets here. Number seven, you're on the right path and it will exceed your expectations. It's, you know how we, we were gonna be getting an idea? It was rolling around in our head, these epiphanies? This is what I just got. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about this casita, the fact that it's mobile. You can get a mobile hotspot so that it would, there will be Wi-Fi anywhere I go. In it, I will have my decks and my crystals and my sage wands. I, 
I will be like a mobile unit. I can travel to certain places and say, hey, I'll be here if you'd like to have a private reading. That's very interesting. I don't know, we'll see what's, what, what, it's just kind of rolling around in my head right now, but this is about changes that you need to make. This is about using technology on a different level. You know, one of the things was, here's an example for me, most readers charge for their readings on YouTube. They'll give you like the first part of it and then they'll say, if you want the rest of it, then you can go to Vimeo or whatever and pay $6.99, $12.99, $4.99, whatever. They all have different prices for every single reading. I don't charge for my readings, but this is a different way. Maybe they're telling me to do that. I thought, no, I don't want to be charging for my readings. There's a lot that can't afford them and I want them to get the full message. So it's like, I have to compromise in some way, right? Gotta compromise. So I could either charge for my readings like other people do, or I could keep the readings free and ask for the support and donations for people to help me continue to do this work. And that's what I chose to do. That's how I chose to use the internet. We need to up our use of technology to help us stay connected, right? Because technology can be used in a good way. It can be used in a negative way, absolutely. But it can be used in a good way. Things are changing, things are moving forward. We are being taught that we wanna, you know, I've been shown for quite a while about living smaller, living simply, doing things more, more self-contained, more off the grid, more, you know, efficient, streamlined. That's what I'm trying to follow, trying to do. So this is about carefully planning, making new use of new technology in a po positive way, in a sacred way, so that we are helping other people. We think about how we use our technology today. What are ways that we feel intimidated? What are ways, like my landlord, he says, there's somebody that I know that needs help in this. So I was thinking about doing a GoFundMe. I said, well, do it. He says, I don't know how to do it. I didn't know how to do it either. Somebody had to show me and then I figured it out and then I did that for me. So I'll show him. That was a way for me to use that technology in a, in a useful, helpful way that I could reach a lot of people, right? Discipline your time online. That's one of the messages I got from Spirit. They wanted me to go away from being sitting in front of a computer. They wanted me to go out. See, I need to, I do better when I'm out in nature. If I have that little travel trailer and I, you don't even have to be with me, but I can go into these places where I am more connected. Looking at the hummingbirds. When I'm connected to Spirit, out into nature, where, where I should be, where I get the most of my messages, where I get the most guidance, and connection and the readings and the teaching that I get when I'm in places like that is supreme. And so by me doing that, I'm bringing you the messages from spirit in a much more connected way. I can go to places that possibly some of you can't go and then I can show you and I can be there and work through spirit and see what spirit needs to show us in those locations through the animal messengers, the close encounters. Look at that honey bear and, and the mama bear and the baby bear, the spirit bears that I met in life light person. So this is me thinking about different ways to use technology and different ways of using what's at our disposal to help me on my spiritual path. This is about my work, right? So for you, it's about setting up websites or creating software or digital art possibly or Recording, like for me, the movies that I record, the videos that I record, that's how I use the technology. What about you? Uploading things to the internet so that you get a wider area of people that are able to benefit. That's what I do with my videos. That's why I'm asking for you to support me. The videos that I take everywhere I go, right? Maybe you've got a gift for some kind of development, some brilliant idea that technology is gonna help you with. Whatever it is, Spirit's saying this is the time to get to work with it and that you will be assisted. This is just more confirmation. It's amazing. It's amazing how these, these are coming out today. Correct neutrality on all levels. It's talking about shutting down old websites and revamping other ones. Remember I said I was supposed to stay away from that, possibly that one website that I've been working on, go more on, out on my own, right? And do the work that, that I love and the work that a Spirit's been calling me to do with the assistance of my soul family and Spirit. It's scary to do it, I gotta tell you. It's embarrassing to ask and it's scary to do it, but I'm following Spirit's guidance. So what about you? 
What do you have at your disposal that you can use? Correct for neutrality on all levels. Your message. I am pain free and totally in sync with life, right on. I return my body to optimum health by giving it what it needs on every level. Exercise, fresh air, getting out into nature. This is what I wanna do, right? This is how we keep ourselves young and vibrant. This is how we get messages too when we're outside doing things like that. So much comes to us. I return my body to optimum health by giving it what it needs on every level, emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally. What are you putting into your body? What are you putting into your mind? I am pain free and totally in sync with life. You're putting in your mind positive affirmations. Say things like that. I am pain free. I'm totally in sync with life. Life flows to me. I'm endlessly abundantly supplied for. The things that I need to figure out will come to me. The, the work that I put out will be rewarded. I'll be guided in the direction I'm supposed to go. Sometimes we don't know why we're going in a certain direction. Was it just, was I supposed to do that just to show spirit that I was willing to listen to them? Think about that. Think about when we're asked to do something. I'm a proud person. I am. I don't like asking for help. I never have been. I will, I told you, I mean, I asked for help with Prince for my landlord because he paid the bill. I didn't ask for help with Lily. It cost me a thousand dollars to pay for her, for her vet bills. Put me under. I didn't ask for help with that. But I was able to ask for my help for help for my landlord because he paid for Prince. Isn't it interesting that you? I had no embarrassment asking for someone else, but when it came to me, I couldn't do it. I put myself under. I put myself under at a time when I had nothing. It was a time when business was super slow and a thousand dollars dipped in my my account, but I couldn't ask for help. That's not a very good teacher. Maybe that is the only reason Spirit had me do that today to put myself out there, to ask for help, to, to lower, remember that one that had to go to their knees? Spirit says, I want you to bend down. Oh, it's hard to do that. It's hard when you're a proud person, but you can't have pride. There's no pride. There's no room for pride in spirit, not ego pride. Wow. You know what? And, and maybe that's all I needed to do. Who knows? For those who chose the endless summer, <laughs> Endless summer. See what the message is for you. Everybody's visiting my, my little old neighbors next door. The whole family's there. It's nice. They all come to hang out at the lake house. They're very blessed to have their... They've got all their grandkids and everybody around with them. It's pretty cool. Your message. Oh, my God. <laughs> Double confirmation. You guys saw me shuffle. Time for a change. It's time to do it, time to use the computer in a different way, time to pull away from the computer, get away from your computer desk so much, get away from your cell phone so much, get more out into nature. That's really, I mean, I gotta tell you, that's why I wanna do this, that's why I've wanted to do it for a long time. I don't wanna be sitting at a desk on a psychic hotline. I wanna be out in nature recording my readings and videos and sharing that with you guys. I get way more beneficial information and I have so much more to give in that way rather than sit on a freaking psychic hotline and answer stupid questions for people that have nothing to do with spirituality. That's not my path, right? Get away from the computers is what it's telling me. Get out there into nature. Get yourself that little trailer so that you can take your freaking cat so she doesn't kill herself and get out there and do it. Record your videos, travel around, do the work that you're supposed to do. Damn, I'm gonna ask for another message. You miss someone. You miss someone. Okay, number 11 is talking about your thoughts. You need to keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts are manifesting instantly. So keep them elevated. Well, right now, you're missing someone. I sure know I am. I'm missing my twin soul. I'm missing my family, my soul family. I am. I know what that feels like. And somebody may have passed into spirit and you are mourning their loss. Whatever it is, this beautiful one here is missing someone deeply. And for the first time, whether this is a male or female, you know what it really feels like to not have the one you love in front of you. You know what it feels like to lose someone. And it's hard. And it rips your heart out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, 
That's who I miss. Oh my God, did you see that, you guys? Oh my God. I know you miss me. You're coming here every day to look at me now. That, that you guys, that was incredible. For the very first time, you know what it's like to miss someone to the point where your heart is feeling like it's being ripped out. We love so deeply. And when the one that we love is no longer with us, it's excruciating. So this is about acknowledging just how deeply you have begged and yearned and desired the return of someone so important and how deeply that loss has affected you for you it could be a friend it could be a pet it could be a parent a grandparent but the missing is so strong it's painful and what do we do we just we, we move on and we work and we fill our minds and we keep ourselves going right but that pain is so deep and for the Osprey to show up right then, right then, right up close and personal. So very important information is pending. Stay on the alert. They told me to stay on the alert. Wow, when he came, he circled back around, around the house. I didn't see him come. He'd gone that way. And then he showed up right here. That's a sign to me. Now, people ask me all the time, do you believe that we get messages from dead loved ones I know my twin's not dead but that is a spiritual message from my twin that is my twin's messenger yes I do believe we get signs listen look at the wind big changes wow do we get signs hell yeah we do Really big ones. So if there has been someone that has gone into spirit, it's time for you to let them go. They're breezing through. Whatever it was that meant so much to you, acknowledge that it, it was there. We have to let the past go. And we have to move into the future. Every day we get the chance to start again. Some people have, their, their soul contract is done. Their life contract is done here. But ours isn't, we're still here. And we have to allow the winds of change to come in and, and, and blow away the sadness and allow the fresh energy to come in. It's hard to let go, but starting over is very important. After we've allowed ourselves time to grieve, we need to start again. Because holding on to the past and refusing to not get over a breakup or a loss, it's keeping us stuck. Maybe it's your parents divorced or, I don't know, friendships that have broken apart, a partnership that blew apart that should have been something different, you think. But it wasn't. We need to mourn what was, let go of what was, and open our arms for what will be because it's time to move on and let the past be put to rest. We could do something in memorandum. I planted rosemary for my mom, right? You could plant a little eucalyptus tree like this. Or the little tree that I, I came down here yesterday, I told you guys, it was struggling because it was trying to put out all of its energy to, to hold up the old roots right? I mean, the old branches, but I cut it back. I cut it back hard, so it's going to be strong. And look, my landlord, it's toast what he did to this. It's gone. There's no hope for that. So I got to let it go, right? But this I'm going to baby. So you could plant something like that in memorandum of someone that you love, someone that is gone. A pet, a person. I like the idea of it being in a pot because no matter where you go, you can take it with you. But that's to show you that you've not forgotten them. You could paint a picture, you could write a poem, you could write a song. Your, their memory will always be with you, but you've got to let the past go. It's run its course. You might be holding on to anger, resentment, blame, 
you can't change something, but the message is the loss. <laughs> what you felt is so incredible and so deep, but everything changes. Our sad memories are gonna turn to sweet memories. Mine of my mom, I have great memories of my mom. Everything goes back and it's time to stop hanging on to something that has passed. It's time to live again is what spirit is saying. You're not being selfish and you're not, you know, I had a fr Facebook friend, his son died. He was very, very young. He had, they just found out that he had a condition. Something happened and he died. It was so quick and he was just grief stricken. And one morning he, he wrote, I feel so guilty because I did something today and, and I didn't think about my son for the first time. I didn't think about him and I feel like a rotten father. It's like, no, you know what? You're never gonna stop thinking of your son. But every waking moment, you're not to grieve. It's okay to move on. We don't have to feel bad for moving on. It doesn't mean that we don't love, we didn't love them. Of course we did. We still have love there, but now we, we still have to love ourselves. We have to move forward. You're not selfish and unloving and, and horrible to, to, to move on to someone else. Sometimes somebody dies and a family member dies, like a husband or a wife and someone wants to move on and, and the family thinks that that's wrong or the kids think, how could you marry someone else? But they deserve to move on. Look at the crows all coming. They're mobbing my red hawk. Do you see her? Do you see her? Oh my God, this is insane. My osprey and me, both here and, and, the, and they were mobbing her. Did you see them all mobbing her? Wow. We're both here, we're both here. And the crows were mobbing us, both. That's interesting. They were on my ass though. And that's the way it's been, actually. That is the way it's been. We've had interference, my, my twin soul and I, and it's me that they were all after. Wow, that was amazing. For him to show up and then for me to show up and them on my ass like that. So the Red Hawk and the Osprey. So the Osprey, I told you, important information is pending. Stay on the vigilant. I was to stay out here and watch that. Right? Osprey, you will dive down deep under your emotional waters and you will emerge safe and sound. Yes, you will. And the Red Hawk, look at things from a higher perspective. There is a message coming. There is a message coming. Pay attention. Oh my gosh. Crows coming out of the void. Remember I said, there are those who don't think that you should move on. It's not right. They don't like it. And then all the crows came flying after the Red Hawk, diving at her. Or him. But Spirit says it's time to move on. Oh my gosh, what a, what a reading today. This is incredible. I mean, this, this is beating what I would have had up in Idlewild. My gosh. I meditate on a regular basis and I reap benefits from this practice. This is where I hear my higher self. I close my eyes and I think positive thoughts and I breathe goodness in and out. Always positive, always stay optimistic, always positive. Tomorrow, I always think of Scarlett O'Hara. I, I so resonate with her. She is the Aries persona of a, of a female. <laughs> Scarlett O'Hara. After all, tomorrow is another day. I'll think about that tomorrow. After all, tomorrow is another day. I'm not gonna get caught up in the, in, the in, in, in whatever it is that's gonna keep me down right now. I'll think about it tomorrow. After all, tomorrow is another day. Every day I get up, I get to, a chance to start my life again. And that's exactly the point, exactly the point. You've missed someone, you've lost someone. Something has ended and it's been brutal. But tomorrow, you get up and you start your life again. You're not supposed to stay grieving the past. You're supposed to move forward. You're supposed to think positive thoughts, breathing goodness in and out. I meditate on a regular basis and reap benefits from this practice. Damn, you guys, I, this reading, this has been incredible. I am so blessed to have seen both of them together in the sky, right in front of me and how he came back around and said, here, here I am, wow. And what was interesting is he went that way, he circled around the house, came back here, and she came this way and went in the same direction as him. 
to the beach. To the beach. Away from the desert. To the ocean. To the sea. Away from the desert, the dry nothingness. To where the greatest conductor of energy is. The body, of greatest, largest body of water. The ocean. God. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go upload this and I gotta get myself ready and I, I almost don't wanna leave because of who I saw go by. I mean, they were both here, but I gotta get rolling. I hope you guys will have a beautiful Sunday and I'll speak to you soon, wherever I end up. <laughs> I love you.